Good job. What's your name? David. Alright, this is Jan with a tap water powered Mustang 1972. It is assisted by a hydrogen brute force electrolysis. It is being injected into the intake manifold where it combines with the gas and adds extra horsepower, torque, and reduces the emissions. This is a close-up of Paul Locke's uh, solar-powered trailer. This is Rob Matthews from the Vancouver Gadgeteers and Solar Power Roadshow. We're here with Paul Locke and his solar and wind power trailer. Paul is setting up as we speak. Paul, what made you uh, do this? Uh, primarily as a test bed for sustainable housing. I buy and sell ugly houses and make them pretty and uh, my next houses will all be off the grid and uh, zero carbon, zero fossil fuel consumption. There's more panels on the roof and there's a wind turbine that's uh, pretty soft. Whoops, onto the generator terminals. Say hi. <laughs> what? what? And uh, so, who wants to read the high numbers, please? Read the high numbers. Point ninety two sixty one three. What was the highest number? Three seventy two three point nine three sixty nine. And then it'll be more more hydrogen parts per and less gas. And that leads us to the hundred percent hydrogen vehicle out there. So this is about what about. <laughs> you see from up? No, 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 we don't. So, it's really. Wow. Yeah, How are things going inside? Very well. Yeah, Get it bubbling and show you the hydrogen coming out of here. Yes. This is so So by tossing hydrogen in there, you end up burning more of the gasoline so you don't get that in fumes. And it actually burns better, so you have better fuel efficiency and it actually increases the horsepower and the torque. Nancy. Nancy, what do you think of the tap water scooter? Uh, it's very cool and uh, I love it so much.